Hi there, this is Shikhan Masari. So in this lesson, we are going to uh, look into the various ways to define a variable in uh, Java programming language, the various ways and rules uh, which a programmer should keep in mind when he is uh, writing programs uh, and defining variables. So first let me launch the IDE. So as we know that we are using a NetBeans 8.0 installed in my computer. So NetBeans takes a moment to load even though the how good your system configuration is. Okay. It's loading. Takes a minute to load all the time. Oh, okay. So first, let us create a new project here. Uh, find new project. Uh, Java application. So let's name our project as uh, variables. Okay, somewhat meaningful name since we are going to study about the various rules of defining a variable. Okay. So NetBeans uh, takes the privilege of creating all the uh, program uh, project structure for us and and closing the remaining projects which are open here only okay so here we have a project with name uh, variables and package again a package that means uh, creates by default with the name of the project and creates a dot java file uh, with the name of our uh, uh, project here okay variables dot java okay so first let us get rid of all these comments here okay okay so here we have uh, okay. So let's make some room. Okay. So the variable is the most uh, basic data structure, uh, which is used to uh, store some data. Okay. So after all, uh, program uh, is used to process the uh, program in a set of instructions. Okay. The set of instructions. Uh, so we write programs uh, to process on some data here. Okay. So data, uh, that data should be stored in uh, in the form of uh, variable here. Okay. So the variable uh, is the one uh, which is in which uh, the value uh, changes or varies accordingly. Okay. So values uh, uh, variable is a name given to a memory location. You can also uh, take the definition of variable like this: uh, name given to a memory location uh, where the data is stored. Okay. So uh, the first, there are certain rules in defining a variable. So the first one is it should start uh, with a letter or, al or an alphabet uh, it should start with a letter okay it should only start with a letter or comma underscore comma underscore and dollar here okay so although it's legal uh, legal to have uh, underscore and dollar at the beginning of the variable names, uh, mostly majority uh, programmers prefer uh, not to use underscore and dollar at the beginning uh, of the variable name. Okay, so according to our first rule, uh, so the valid variable name, uh, so valid variable names are like this: my int uh, my where. Uh, so take it uh, since Java is a strictly type uh, programming language, so we need to specify uh, the name of the data type when we are uh, defining a variable here. Okay. So here, uh, Java is a strictly uh, strictly type programming language, which means that uh, it's mandate to uh, define or specify the type of the data type, uh, the type of the data uh, before the variable name here. Okay. So this, in this way, um, so this is a perfectly legal uh, variable uh, variable name here. Okay. It started with a letter. So if you uh, violate uh, this first rule and if you say something like this, uh, if you start with a digit, and it's already uh, it shows this red uh, squiggly line which means that it's a compilation error. So if you run this program, okay, so it doesn't run, okay. So even though it runs, uh, it shows some errors here, okay. So <coughs> it's not a good practice, uh, not a good practice, not, nor uh, it's a violation to have a digit at the beginning, okay. So it should start with a letter uh, or underscore, okay. So let's see another variable as an example. <coughs> Let's say my where two here. Okay, so this is also perfectly legal. And the third form, uh, uh, the first rule is you can have an underscore uh, at the beginning of your variable. It's perfectly legal, but uh, these two are uh, 
uh, not a good practice okay so not a not a good convention or not a good practice uh, not a good practice uh, to use underscore okay so let's make it in a quotation here from, to use underscore so at the beginning of variable here okay so it's not a, not a good practice in the same way it's not a good practice to have a dollar at the beginning of your variable name okay so majority of the programmers or uh, it's not a good convention to follow uh, to use as a dollar or underscore even though it's perfectly valid and legal okay so the second rule of thumb is so no special characters so no special characters except okay so except underscore and dollar are allowed in variable in variable names here okay so it's not valid uh, to have uh, it's invalid to have uh, uh, special symbols like uh, percent or uh, hash so if you, if you think you can use a variable name like this it's not uh, legal here okay so immediately it shows this red uh, red line uh, which ultimately uh, shows that it's not legal to have uh, underscore okay so if you want if at all you want uh, any uh, special symbol so you are only allowed uh, in java uh, to use in the variable name only uh, underscore and dollar okay okay so except these two uh, special symbols uh, you are not allowed to use any other special symbol okay so it's not well done so let's take it wantedly and let's comment it out okay so let's say it's so not a valid uh, variable name so not a valid variable name okay since we are using it so hash okay it's not a it's not allowed in java to have a special symbol other than underscore and dollar not a valid variable name here. okay so the third rule of thumb uh, and the third rule of thumb is there should be there should be no spaces there should be no spaces uh, in between in between the variable names here okay so that means uh, that uh, so if your variable name uh, is consists of two uh, parts here okay so if you want uh, to have a variable name uh, something like this okay so int uh, and car uh, speed here okay so car speed uh, so if you, want, if you want to have a variable name like this so it's not it's not uh, allowed to have uh, allowed to have spaces in between the variable names okay so if you want uh, so you need to have make it in a single word or if you want to differentiate uh, these two different uh, distinguish these two variables uh, into a one variable you can do it by having an underscore or dollar here okay so again dollar uh, using dollar for this purpose is not a good convention or not a good practice so majority of the programmers prefer to keep underscore in order to distinguish uh, the strings or the words between uh, between the variable names here okay so it's not it's illegal to have uh, spaces between the uh, variable names here okay so it's always a good practice to uh, not a, um, to have an underscore uh, okay so another uh, uh, another good convention is that uh, when you are having a, uh, two different uh, names uh, two different strings for a variable name it's always a good convention to have uh, the second uh, uh, word with a capital letter here okay so this is also known as a camel case uh, it's a good convention uh, to follow here okay so uh, spaces were not allowed uh, in between the variable names if at all if you want to have a space so you need to join them with an underscore here okay so the next and last uh, and final uh, rule of thumb uh, when you are defining a variable variable names is should not use should not use keywords okay should not use keywords as variable names here okay so there are uh, uh, a collection of keywords uh, which are which have a specialized meaning in, in the programming uh, language like Java and C++, every uh, language has a set of uh, keywords, okay. So they have their own uh, uh, specialized uh, meaning. So, so normally programming languages like Java, C or C++ don't allow keywords uh, uh, to use keywords as variable names here, okay. So as variable names, okay. So it's illegal to say something like this. If you say int and fur, okay. 
so intent for it's not uh, legal to have a fur because fur is a keyword which is used for for loop so until now we have uh, seen you cannot use uh, int and float also like this okay so float is a data type keyword first and then it's also a data type so if you want it's not uh, legal to have a uh, keyword here okay so let's write it and comment it out okay not a not a valid variable name let's write a comment comment it out and write not a valid uh, variable name here okay so not allowed to have keywords so if you want to check what are the uh, keywords that are uh, uh, used in java programming language so google is your friend if you open the browser window again it's taking a moment uh, since my system is very ancient uh -huh. it's getting loaded google so if you go to google and if you type uh, java and keywords here okay so if you say java and keywords if you go to the second site here in oracle website since Oracle is maintaining uh, uh, the Java documentation, so here you have a list of bunch of uh, keywords here. Okay, so while defining variables, you need to keep in mind that you never use any of them as your variable name here. Okay, so to go back to ID. So these are the four uh, major uh, rules while you have to keep in mind while defining a variable. So okay, so defining and declaring are two different things. Okay, so if you just define a variable like this, int and mind. Okay, it's just defining okay so it becomes a declaration so if you say a variable name if you take a variable name int mind 2 is equal to 20 so this becomes a declaration okay so this becomes a declaration because you are uh, assigning some value uh, with the help of uh, the help of assignment operator here okay so if you observe so this is a declaration example of a declaration let's have a comment here also declaration of a variable declaration of a variable Okay, so this is defining a variable. So it's a two main defining a variable. So as a programmer, you need to know the difference between these two. Defining is just telling the compiler that you are using a, a variable of name mind here. Okay, so the declaration is different. Uh, you assign when you assign some value to it. Uh, the compiler assigns some address and it allocates some memory, and a whole lot of things uh, happens in the background here. Okay. There should misspell the word here. There should be no spaces between the variable between the variable names here. Okay, so let's type it mistake here between the variable names. Here. Okay, so uh, one more thing. So now, if you want uh, to print it out, uh, the value that is stored inside the uh, variable here. Okay, since we have de declared a variable here using a assignment operator, let's print that value to the output screen here. System dot system dot out dot print ln. okay, and let's have some message. The value of my int my underscore int two. So all these messages are just for understanding purpose. Now we have to use this plus symbol here, which acts as a concatenation operator. Okay, so this is a string literal. and we have to combine that string literal with our uh, uh, name of the variable. In order to print the value 20 here, okay. So if you write like this, so both the strings, so both different, uh, the, these both different things uh, were joined using the concatenation operator here, okay. So if you look into the output, you understand better. So let me run the program. So here you have the value of my uh, 2 is equal to 20, okay. So in the same way, <coughs> so if you want to look. Uh, so if you want to look what is what is stored inside the mind also so we have just defined a variable and just uh, if you want to print our print print the contents of that variable too so again you can use the system order print statement and you can have a message here also the value so the value of mind is equal to plus mind here okay so now if uh, showing as an error might not have been initialized here. Okay, so it's showing us an error here. Okay, so because uh, the variable, so here we have used is not initialized. Okay, so if you don't initialize, the compiler gets confused and uh, it cannot automatically print out 
the data is stored inside it here okay so if, if at all uh, you want to uh, use the variable you need to initialize with some value to that here okay so if you can say something like this mind one so and then you have some value uh, and say stored inside the variable to print it out okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, the various uh, ways to define a variable in java and how to assign how to define a variable and how to declare a variable how to just print out the contents stored inside the variable here okay so to summarize once again uh, there are uh, mainly four different rules uh, to keep in mind when you are defining a variable the first one is if the variable name should only start with a letter or an alphabet or underscore or dollar so these three things are perfectly legal to do in java but even though uh, majority of the programmers don't prefer to use uh, uh, start their variable names with underscore or dollar okay so almost these two things are not a good convention and they are ruled out okay and the second important uh, rule is no special symbol except dollar and underscore are allowed at the beginning in the middle or at the end of the variable name okay so in third the third rule is there should be no spaces while defining a variable so if you want to if at all you want to distinguish the two different words used inside a variable name you need to use underscore symbol okay another good convention is to use a camel case so okay. the camel case is nothing but like this so if you have a two different words inside a, a variable name so you can have the second uh, the second string or second word uh starting letter uh, can be capitalized okay so this is a good convention good convention to have uh, the second letter the second letter or the second word the second starting letter of the second word to be capitalized here okay the third the fourth rule is there should uh, no keyword should be used as a uh, variable name here okay so the keywords are the one which have some special meaning uh, which are always reserved words keywords are reserved words so if you go to google and type uh, keywords in google uh, the keywords in java so you have a list of uh, keywords here so keeping keeping that in mind while defining a variable should not uh, uh, throw you into an error here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, the variables in java so see you in the next lesson goodbye